Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about our guardian angels. Everyone has a guardian angel, at least one. More might come and go, depending on what's going on in your life, but you have one from birth until death. They could have been with you in other lifetimes, and they definitely know what your soul challenges are, what your lessons are in this lifetime. We forget them when we're born, but our angel definitely is aware of it and tries to keep us on the right path, um, nudging us back if we veer off path. They can't help us avoid painful situations because that is sometimes the soul challenge. Sometimes that is the thing that we have to go through in order for our evolution, but they keep us safe and they would always protect us from any life-threatening life situations if it wasn't our time to go yet. Now, you can say to your angel, don't bother me, you know, and they will step back, but they will never, ever leave you. They will never leave no matter what, um, even if you don't talk to them. They're still going to hover in the background, being there just in case. Uh, they could be your confidant, your friend, your protector. Uh, they're constantly helping you. They bring in synchronicities to your life, or you might call them coincidences, but they always do everything they can to help you on your path. Now, they don't intervene with their free will, so you do have to call them in for help. Well, any help, really. Um, they are the closest in you to energy. So it's easier to connect first with your guardian angel than any other angel because the other angels are in a higher vibration. They're just, they have different roles. You know, your guardian angel, you are their role. You are their responsibility. So they are here for you. So I want everyone to just feel how close your guardian angel is to you right now. So if you're not driving or if you're able to stop and close your eyes, just close your eyes. And if, in your mind or out loud, just say, I call in my personal guardian angel from the highest light of God. I call you into me now. Come close to me physically and energetically so I may feel or sense your presence or just know you're there. You may feel something or just know or just get a like a little breeze that might go by. Everyone's angel touches you or, or connects with you in a different way, but they are definitely very close to you. So how to talk to them. It's really simple. They're aware of your thoughts. They're aware of your mental state, your emotional state, spiritual state, physical state. So it's just, you could close your eyes and call them in or ask a question. You could do it with, while you're driving, ask a question, you know, ask them to give you a message later or now at the present moment, either as a physical sign or as a thought um, or in some other kind of circumstance, you know, like, like you can say, I need your help in this. And then just be aware of the things that are coming in, you know, either sitting silently for an answer we're taking a walk, just being in a quiet situation. And sometimes it just comes in like another way, like they bring in someone into your life that you needed help from or a job or, you know, a house or you know, so many synchronicities or so many different ways that they help. I can't even list them here. I don't, I'm not even aware, you know, the angels always know what's best for us. And usually it's beyond our scope of imagination, how they help. So Take the every day I would say, you know, connect with your guardian angel, call them in closer because if they're, they're already in close, it'll be easier to hear them, feel them, understand their guidance. And if you want, I do have a longer meditation on YouTube, um, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts where you could spend more time talking to your guardian angel, getting a name, asking a specific question. Uh, so that you can look on my channels. And um, if you have any questions, please write them in the comments. And bye for now. Until next time.